In this video, we'll take a look how we can spice up our gradients with a nice, quick, interesting hack. First, let's create a box and fill it with a gradient. I'll choose a linear diagonal gradient. Give it some color and we have a nice looking gradient. Nothing special and actually quite boring. But here is the hack. I'll paste a nice image of a city. Next, we will add a huge amount of blur to it by applying a Gaussian blur filter with a radius of 150 plus. Remember the slider in the Gaussian blur filter goes to 100, but by entering a value in the input box, we can go beyond 100. Let's select our blurred image layer and set the blend mode to hard light, overlay or soft light. I'll keep it to soft light for the time being. Pretty cool. That looks much more interesting. When I toggle the visibility of the blurred image, notice the subtle difference. I also do like the hard light blend mode, which introduces new colors in a very cool way. To fine tune the effect, let's add a curves adjustment to the blurred image and flatten the curve. Now by adjusting the curve, we get a bit of more control on the effect. Usually a sinus wave works quite well. But we can take this a step further by adding a live mesh warp filter to the blurred image. When we add a couple of points and warp the image, we can move the colors around in our gradient. Pretty awesome. We can now also change the blend mode to vivid light, creating a more stronger warp effect. Alternatively, we can turn off the curves adjustment we added earlier to make the warp effect stronger. If you don't like the hard edges in the gradient, a nice option is to add the lens blur on top of everything to smooth things out. Instead of using an image, we can also use a secondary gradient. Let me remove all the extra layers and revert back to our starting gradient. I'll duplicate this gradient and adjust the gradient of the duplicate to a grayscale gradient using the values of 25 luminosity and 75 luminosity. Just like before, I'll add a mesh warp and create something wavy. When I now put this layer to overlay or the soft light blend mode, the wavy pattern will come back in the starting gradient. We can fine-tune the effect by changing the gray values of the top gradient to make parts lighter or darker. Another cool trick is to change the gradient direction, which can result in interesting results. Using these tricks allows you to create more interesting gradients. The trick with an image usually works quite well and generates really organic results. I hope you liked this video and learned something new today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.